In this video, I'll be demonstrating Raw Power 2.0. Raw Power 2.0 is a major upgrade. First, there is now a full file browser. It's also been tuned to look great on Mac OS Mojave. You add directories to the file browser with the Add Folder button. You can use the typical turndowns to access different parts of your directory, but unlike most file browsers, which start you off at Macintosh HD and make you work your way down, you can just add the folders you want to uh, directly. If you have folders you want to access quickly, you can take and drag them into the favorite section. Other photo apps give you a single window and a view of your photo library. Raw Power is different. Here you can see I've got the first day of a vacation to the Mediterranean. If I want to look at another day, I don't have to just switch views. Instead, I can use the command key, like in Safari or the Finder, and create a new tab. I can also drag these out to make separate windows. This way I can view multiple parts of my library simultaneously. I can even open up multiple editor windows and edit different images at the same time. Everything that I see here in my workspace will be saved and restored the next time I open the application. Raw Power 2.0 also includes more metadata. You can see the information about the files over here. If I have a, an image with uh, GPS information, that will also get a satellite map. Raw Power 2.0 also includes a Quick Look feature. Just like in the Finder, I can press the spacebar to quickly display an image. It's much faster than the one in the Finder. If I don't want to use the Quick Look feature, I can double-click an image to see the viewer plus film strip. Let's enter edit mode. Raw Power is an extensive preset feature, including something called camera presets. This is not new to 2.0, but it's an important feature to demonstrate. For these Sony RX100 pictures, I have a specific thing I like to do with every single image. I add a little bit of raw contrast, then some vibrancy, and I tend to lighten the images a little bit. This is the current thing, and this is before. So it's just a light improvement to the images. And I like to do that on almost every single image. In Raw Power, I can use a camera preset to make this much easier. I save as a new preset, starting point, and I click this checkbox, automatically apply images from this camera. Now when I go to the next image from the same camera, it automatically decodes it and will apply those adjustments. As you can see, raw contrast and the other adjustments have been applied. We'll leave edit and go back to the grid. Raw Power also has a batch processing feature new to 2.0. I can select a series of images here and apply a whole bunch of different operations. I can do a batch export, which gives me the option to export images in a range of sizes, including custom sizes, formats, color profiles, and file naming. Or I can batch apply adjustments from an image through copy-paste or using a preset. In this case, I'm going to apply a preset. The preset I have is a crop to 16 by 9 plus a vignette. I can either add that, adjust, that preset to these images or replace all the adjustments with the preset. In this case, I'm going to add them because I want to add a crop and vignette. So I pick that, and Raw Power will go through each image, decode the image, apply the adjustments, and then save them all out again non-destructively. You can see here that the aspect ratio is changing. If I want to then make any changes to those crops, for example, move the crop up or down or change the size, I can go to any of those images, enter edit, and adjust the crop. This batch processing operation is also undoable. If I hit Command Z, it'll go back to the state before the preset was applied. Raw Power has a bunch of new adjustments in 2.0. Let's demonstrate those now. This is an image also shot with the same Sony RX camera, and as a result, it applies the preset that we set up earlier. What we want to do for this image is convert to black and white. That's one of the new Raw Power 2.0 adjustments. When I pick black and white, it does an immediate conversion using a luminance equation to make the basic black and white. There are also presets that let me choose different uh, types of black and white mixing. The luminous one I described, as well as an equal, one, equal channel one where red, green, and blue are equal, and then ones which simulate lens filters. 
I'll pick the blue filter. I can also overdrive the filter so that these components have more than, sum up to more than 1.0. In this case, I'm going to drag up green to brighten up the image some. Now I have a nice black and white conversion. I'm going to use this image to demonstrate vignette. Vignette in applications typically is a center-based vignette. As you can see, if I push this to the limits for the new vignette effect, it places it in the center of the image. That's not always what I want because the subject may not be in the center. Raw Power has a solution to that, which is a controllable center point, as you can see with the control I'm circling now. I click on that, and then I can click anywhere in the image. I'll get a spotlight to give me a better idea of where the vignette will be applied. And now that's where it's going to be, right on the center of the dog's face. I can increase the effect, and now the vignette is drawing the attention to the face of the dog instead of the center of the image. I'm going to use some additional new adjustments on this same picture. The first one is definition in the enhance adjustment. Definition is like the definition from aperture, which is a local contrast effect. I'll drag that to get a light sharpening. Deepen and Lighten are great new filters which are similar to highlights and shadows but generally produce better results for a lot of images. Deepen works on the highlights and adds a richness to images. In this case, as I drag Deepen a little bit, it brings a nice color into the dog's fur. We'll use another image to demonstrate Lighten. For this image, I would normally use the shadow slider, but it demonstrates one of the problems with shadows. When you lift them too high, you lose contrast. The Lighten slider does not have that problem. The Lighten slider just lifts the darks very naturally, and you can push it all the way to the limit and still get a great result. Additional adjustments in Raw Power 2.0 are chromatic aberration and perspective. For perspective, I'm going to switch to the Raw Power Photo Extension. Raw Power has always existed in two modes a standalone app and a Photos extension integrated directly into the Photos application's edit mode. So let's look at that next. Here we are in Photos. I'm going to double-click this image here, which is a Nikon D800 36 megapixel RAW. As you, you can see, it's got some issues with perspective, especially as you can see on the edges where the rocks look tilted over. I'm going to hit the Edit button, and then after that, the three dots to bring up the Raw Power Photo Extension. The Raw Power Photo Extension launches and decodes the image. It uses the same raw engine as Photos, so it's going to look exactly the same. Here I'm going to use the new perspective adjustment. What's great about the Raw Power 2.0 uh, adjustments is that they are almost all different from the ones that exist in Photos. The, the vignette adds the center control. Perspective is not existing in photos. Neither is chromatic aberration. And Deepen and Lighten also don't have uh, parallels in photos. Here I'm going to use the vertical adjustment here to adjust the perspective. Now, perspective automatically will adjust and center crop the image to fill the frame to the same aspect ratio. That's not always what you want. The image detail that's been cropped out, maybe stuff you want, or maybe you want a different crop. In that case, you can use the scale factor slider to back things off, and then you can crop manually. I'm going to use an unconstrained crop because I don't need the same aspect ratio. Crop the image, and now I get all the detail at the bottom of the picture and the corrections to the perspective. I'll save the changes to the edits, and you will see that it goes back into the Photos application. At that point, the adjustments have been saved into the Photos Library database, and a full-size JPEG has been stored as well. Everything is non-destructive. I can go back into the extension at any time and continue editing. Also, if you use iCloud Photo Library, all of the adjustments are synced across iCloud. Raw Power 2.0 has an enormous number of new features. Five new adjustments that are for both the Photo Extension and the Standalone app. The Standalone app, which provides a full, full file browser Tune for Mac OS Mojave, Favorites, Batch Processing, Quick Look, and much more. Thank you for listening.